Hey everyone, welcome back to the next Pi Game video. In this video, uh, we have our, we created our stars and our ship at the bottom. You can move left and right. Uh, what I want to get started on, on this one is him actually shooting a bullet. So, uh, the first thing we're going to need is an actual bullet class. So, I'm going to go ahead and make a new Python file. We're going to call it bullet. And I don't know if bullet has, I think it's just one T. I'm an idiot when it comes to spelling. I th I'm pretty sure bullet just has one T, so we're going to go with that. Uh, so we're going to import Pygame. Just like everything else we've been making, this is going to be a sprite uh, object. Well, yeah, sprite object. So we're going to need to import Pygame. Uh, I don't know if we'll need the constants file. Yeah, we will need the constants file. So we're going to import constants as C. And we don't need the random module. Um, so let's go ahead and make our bullet class. A so class bullet and it is a pygame.sprite and a lot of this is going to be repetition from all the other sprite objects we've made. So class, bullet, it's a sprite object. Run the constructor method for it and we're also going to run the constructor method for the sprite object that we're inheriting from. Um, our bullets are going to be simple. I'm not going to upload an image either. We're just going to use a surface object. It's going to be a white square but if you want you can uh, make a picture of a bullet and uh, upload it or not upload but um just do pygame.image.load and put that in the image variable but i'm just going to use a surface just like all the other stuff we've been using so let's do self.width equals pygame.surface we'll make a surface object or actually sorry no that's for the image self.width i want this thing to be square and i'll say it's four pixels wide and it's a square so the height will be the same so the height equals self.width and self.size i always make one of those and it will equal a tuple of self.width, self.height, and then we'll get the image going. So self.image equals pygame.surface. So the image will be a surface object, and the size will be the size that we set right here. So it'll be four by four pixels. Uh, I want it to be white, so self.color equals 255, 255, 255. Uh, then we'll fill the image with the appropriate color, so self.image.fill. We'll pass in the color to it and then I always uh, well we'll have to get a rect uh, object so self dot rect equals self dot rect or sorry self dot image dot get rect and then self dot uh, velocity I always do that so self dot velocity x is zero and self dot velocity y is zero um, now one thing I want to know when you shoot the bullet so every time a bullet's created, it's obviously going to be fired from the ship. So uh, as soon as the bullet's created, it's going to have a Y velocity as soon as it's created. So self.velocity Y, we'll say it goes like, um, let's just put five, uh, five pixels per frame right now. But since it's going up, it's actually going to be a negative five. Down on a screen is positive and up on the screen is negative. So the bullet gets created at the bottom right where the ship is and it goes up. All right, now we need to make our update method. So the update method is gonna contain all our positional information. So self.rec.x plus equals self.velocityx and self.rec.y plus equals self.velocity.y. Um, honestly, that's pretty much all the code we need for a bullet. Now, just kind of how I made the background class contain all the information and logic for how to generate its own stars so we wouldn't clutter up this main file right here, I'm going to do the same thing for bullets. All the information on how to create a bullet and put it on the, well, not put it on the screen, but just to create a bullet that the ship is shooting is going to be part of our ship class. And that makes sense, like the ship shoots bullets, so... The logic for how bullets kind of work should be in the ship class. Um, so we're in our ship class here. So at the top, I need to import that bullet class we just made. So I'm going to do import, uh, or sorry, from bullet import the bullet class. Um, and because we can have multiple bullets on the screen at once, we obviously need to make a group in here that is uh, called a bullet group. It's all the current bullets that are on the screen that the ship uh, has. So uh, right after the, I'm just going to put it right after the rect attributes. I'm going to do self dot uh, bullets plural equals pygame dot sprite dot group, and that equals our bullet group. 
Um, and again, I didn't really write any notes for this video, but uh, I'm trying to think of the best way how we can generate a bullet. So I think what I want to do is give the ship class another method called shoot. Um, and what we're, what's going to end up happening is in this event loop right here, obviously we check for the A key and the uh, D key for left and right movement. But I'm going to add another key check in here for the space uh, bar clicked. And when you click the space bar, it's, and it's going to execute player.shoot. So it's going to execute the ship's shoot method that we'll write right here. And what does that shoot method do? Well. Uh, it's going to make a new bullet and that equals a bullet object and then in self dot bullets we're gonna add that bu new bullet object we just made we're gonna add it to the bullet group and I had a typo there uh, so yeah so self dot bullets add new bullet to it um, and that should be, let me just go over this real quick. So press space, it runs the shoot command, creates a new bullet and adds it to the bullet. Oh, when we create the bullet, we actually need to provide it the information on where the bullet needs to be put at on the screen. Because right now it, it's just going to be put at the top left corner because it's rec.x and rec.y by default are set to zero. So this new bullet that we're creating, we need to access its uh, rect um, attribute and it's x attribute and for right now i'm going to here let me type this code then i'll explain what it does and then we'll, we'll have to kind of uh, mess with it for a second to get it actually the way we want it but so this is making a new bullet object when we run the shoot command uh, and then once we've made that object we're setting its x attribute its x coordinate to the same x coordinate as the player um, and we're doing the same with the Y coordinate. So this will put the X and Y of the player is actually the top left of the ship. So what this is going to do is the bullet's actually going to be created at the top left of the ship too, which is wrong. But I'll go ahead and show you the bullet working and then we can kind of tweak the values to get it centered on the ship. So it looks like it's coming from the center of the ship. Um, so this should all work. So let's go to main now and let's put a statement in here. If event.key equals pygame. Uh, dot k underscore space and it's k underscore space all caps then we want to do player dot shoot and see if I made any typos so it's running I can move left and right and I can't shoot and again if you remember from the last video what I forgot to do and I tend to always do this uh, we're never that bullet group that we made we have to run its update function and we also have to draw them to the screen and we're not doing any of that so uh, the player right here self dot bullets will access that bullet group and we need to run its update method every frame um, we also need to draw the bullets to the screen and the best way to probably do that we are probably going to have to, yeah, we'll have to put it in here. Um, so let's see. I'm just going to test something real quick. So we got sprite group. So uh, player dot bullets dot update or dot oh, not update. Let's go to the render section. After we render the player in the sprite group, uh, sprite group I'm oh, sorry player dot bullets dot draw to the display so we'll throw it down there yeah so there you go now we have our bullets um, so this is kind of it's kind of weird this is not the best way to code this and I'm actually gonna do a series later that shows you how to really organize this and your well, your main loop is actually only gonna be four lines of code long and everything is kind of in its own file and organize and it makes your game very scalable and easy to work with the problem with doing that for a basic series is it has a lot of complicated stuff in it and setup that I, I don't want to show you right now um, but we're we kind of have to access that uh, we have to access that bullet list outside here so we can get it to draw to the display um, so it, I'm drawing the background group right here I'm drawing the sprite group right here and then right here, I'm accessing our player object, and inside of it, I'm accessing its bullet group, 
and then I'm drawing that to the screen. If you kind of understand what I'm doing there. And it works, so I can shoot. But as you see, they're on the left side of the screen, uh, or the left side of the player. So let's get them centered. So we need to go to ship. And where we create it, uh, we're doing new bullet dot rec dot x equals the same x coordinate as the, uh, the player. So we want to add, I don't know, let's say add, uh, well, we can actually do this. We can add the self dot rec dot width of the player divided by two. So let's see if the X actually works on that. There you go. So now they're kind of centered, um, but it looks like we need to subtract one from it. So let's subtract one from that. We may need to subtract two. And again, you can just constantly tweak these numbers and get it where you want. I'm not a big math person, so I'm sure there's a better equation to figure this out than what I know, but. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's centered. So there you go, he can shoot. Um, one thing we need to do though is if you were to let this program run for a really long time, you would notice it would be taking up like seven or eight gigs of memory. And the reason that is is because we're creating all these stars and shooting all these bullets, and they're going off the screen, but they technically still exist. So what we need to do is program some code that says, hey, when these things get off the screen, uh, go ahead and just clear them from memory. That way they're not, uh, actually if I pull up task manager here, uh, this is our Python program. And these objects don't take up that much memory, but if I let this thing sit here, you're slowly gonna see this 13.5 go up to 13.6, and then seven, then eight, then nine. And this is, this is what's known as a memory leak. So there's a memory leak in our code. It's not clearing stuff out. This will eventually, it's going to be slow because these objects don't take up much, but there it'll get up there. Um, so let's go ahead and code for that. Uh, so what I, I want to do that in the update function. We'll do it for the bullets first. So right after we update the bullets, we'll do this. We'll loop through every bullet that's in that bullet group and check for where its position is. And then if it's outside the screen, we can just remove it from the group, which removes it from memory. So uh, for bullet and self dot bullets if bullet dot rect dot y so we're wanting to check if the bullets at the top of the screen so if it's greater than or equal to uh, zero because zero is the y coordinate at the top of the screen so if it's greater than or equal to zero then self dot bullets dot remove and then you just pass in bullet uh, so this is going to loop through every bullet that's in our bullet group and check its uh, Y coordinate. If its Y coordinate is greater than zero, it removes it from the uh, the bullet group. And we're going to do the same thing for our background class. So right after we update the stars, we'll do for star in self dot stars. If star dot rec dot Y is less less than or, or sorry greater than or equal to because the stars are going down. So if it's greater than or equal to the display height, which was like 700, I think is what we made it, then self.stars.remove the star. There you go. And hold on one second, because I think I did, I should have did less than or equal here, where it said, where it checks for bullets, for bullet and self.bullet. So for every bullet in the bullet group at the uh, if it's Y is less than or equal to zero, I had greater than or equal to zero, so I couldn't shoot. Uh, so I changed it to less than or equal to zero. Yeah, so there we go. And I kind of want my bullets to be a little faster. So let's put like eight. Eh, a little faster than that. Oh, that's my ship. Uh, bullet is right here, so negative eight. Yeah, about like that. And I, one thing you can kind of tweak on your own, uh, I can kind of shoot these as fast as I can hit the button. Um, you could set like a Boolean value called can shoot, and if it's true, you can shoot. But then when you shoot, it sets it to false for a certain amount of time, and then after like a couple frames, it resets it back to true, so it prevents you from spamming the shoot button that fast. You can only shoot it so fast. 
Um, I'm not going to implement that, but it's pretty easy to do if that's what you want to implement in your game. Um, so yes, this one went a little bit long, and the next one I promise we'll get to where we'll we'll set up the borders on the left and the borders on the right. That, that's going to be like real simple and only take like probably three or four minutes to go over. But yeah, we'll do that in the next video.